what up, everybody? And welcome to another edition of the Jay and Will Show. Uh, my name is Jay, and I got my brother Will with me. Will, what's going on, man? Out here chilling, man. Yeah. Yes, sir. Staying warm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is week eight. Uh, predictions for week eight. Um, we want to give a shout out to uh, our resident gambler, Ed. You know, he's uh, <laughs> been ducking and dodging the past couple of weeks, but you know, we've been able to keep in touch with him. He's doing well. You yeah. know, he just got to lay low for a little bit. So, a little bit. you know, yeah. So, you know, whenever things feel a little bit better, he can pop back up. Uh, we'll have him on. But uh, T's and P's, brother, we with you, man. Yeah. All right. Um, so last week, um, our predictions, we can't get away from <laughs> each other. Um, we actually tied uh, with seven correct picks each. Jeez. That's so <clears throat> for the year. Uh, Will is still in lead with 26 correct picks, and I'm running behind him with 24. So even the strategy just picking the opposite team didn't work. Like, <laughs> this, I, can't, I can't get past this dude. <laughs> so um, uh, interesting week last week, obviously, um, and, and this week I'm sure will we'll be no exception. Yeah. Uh, so without further ado, Will, you ready to get into these picks? Yeah, let's do this. All right. So as always, we'll start off with the Thursday night game. Uh, this week we have the Atlanta Falcons visiting the <clears throat> excuse me visiting the Carolina Panthers. Uh, well, let you kick things off for us. Uh, I got Panthers. Uh, there is a chance that uh, uh, McCaffrey comes back this game. Uh, the coach oh. uh, Matt Rule was saying that he had to practice either uh, Tuesday, Wednesday uh, ahead of time, like uh, basically a full practice. Because mm-hmm. uh, I know earlier in the week he had on the red jersey, but. Uh, which means uh, no contact, but he's been uh, had the opportunity to uh, uh, be out there this week, and nice. which would be fantastic because if they get him out there, just even for a little bit, uh, be able to test him out, and then you get the uh, the ten days or whatever right, uh, right, right. break to uh, see how it goes, uh, <clears throat> be able to uh, still re- uh, work on the ankle, uh, right. uh, work on the leg. So it's gonna be interesting. Uh, but I got Carolina at this one. I need for it to uh, – I need for this to be like a 45-45 or 48-45 type game because uh, I got a bunch of fantasy uh, players. <laughs> <laughs> so everybody put up some numbers. Everybody. <laughs> I feel that. I feel that. Um, I'm going to go with the Panthers as well. Um, Atlanta really hasn't shown me anything to think that – you know, they can even stay in this game. <clears throat> Excuse yeah. me. Um, I think Carolina has shown, even last week, uh, hanging with New Orleans, they, they lost the game. But I think it went to overtime, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so they showed they could hang. Um, so I think they're at, right now, with or without um, Run CMC, the better team. Um, so I'm going to pick uh, Carolina in this game as well. But I would love to see McCaffrey come back, man. Um, because seeing how they've kind of right the ship, you know, I think he, they were 0 3 when he came, 0 2 or 0 3 when he oh, when yeah. he got hurt. Um, so to see them kind of fix that and get things kind of going, it'd be interesting to see how they, you know, how the dynamic changes when you get a guy like that back that can kind of change the game. So uh, Teddy Bridgewater is starting to play better, guys around him are starting to play better. And so I'm interested, I, I'd love to see him come back uh, just to see how that dynamic um, works. And it'd be good to have him come back. I guess the team is one and six because I mean, yeah, yeah. And then, like you said, you get the extra, you know, extra half a week uh, from before the next game to kind of get him, you know, fresh and ready to go yeah. for the rest of the stretch run. So um, yeah. it'd be interesting to see how it goes. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to go with the Panthers in that one as well. All right. Um, we will now move forward to the Sunday games, a game that should not be on at noon, but it yeah. is. This should be a uh, – if it's doing that, I think you're about to say, this should definitely be a 3 o'clock game. <laughs> or they could just <clears> – <throat> excuse me, they could just flip the Cowboys game and put it at 12 and yeah. put this game Sunday night, honestly. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then I'm, I'm sure it's the same game you're thinking about. It's the 6-0 Steelers going up against the 5-1 Baltimore Ravens. Yeah. Um, that, yeah, that game has no business being on at noon. They, nah. sh- they should absolutely flex the side of that uh, Sunday night game because – who want, I don't even think I'm gonna watch that game. Like, who wants to watch that game? Yeah. Um, but that's a separate discussion. <laughs> um, so we have noon slate starts off with the Steelers visiting the Ravens. 
Uh, I got Baltimore in this one. Uh, just the uh, the home. Um, Lamar trying to get uh trying to get his footing back. He had a couple games struggle in there, but he's mm-hmm. starting to uh, play a little bit better. Uh, Pittsburgh is tough. Like I'm t- I just knew I just knew Tennessee was going to win that uh, last week. Like I knew it was going to be close, but I just figured Tennessee was going to be able to pull it out. Uh, but I got Baltimore in this one. It's not saying that just because I keep uh, picking these uh, teams other than Pittsburgh that Pittsburgh isn't that good. Uh, mm-hmm. Pittsburgh is a very good team. I just think that uh, uh, I just feel like the uh, between Tennessee and Baltimore, they just built a little bit better uh, when it comes to right now uh, playing uh, playing against Pittsburgh. You know, that's okay. how I got uh, Baltimore going uh, winning this one. Yeah, I don't. I mean, I think um, picking either team, you'd be justified, right? Like, there's not like yeah. a, a left field pick out of these two. Yeah, exactly. Um, I'm going to go with Pittsburgh only because um, they seem to just find a way to win games. Um, you know, they didn't play particularly well against Philadelphia, and they they mm-hmm. were able to uh, squeak that one out. Uh, obviously, like you talked about last week, um, yeah. you know, they, they gave up a run to Tennessee, and it looked like they may come back and beat them. Uh, but Tennessee fell short in that game. Uh, a missed field goal away, I think, from, from winning that yeah. game. So um, they played them really tough. Um if I'm being honest, you know, if I looked at Tennessee and Baltimore right now, I would favor Tennessee um, mm-hmm. only because <clears throat> I feel like there's a level of momentum uh, with Tennessee um, and they're, they really seem to be finding their groove. Yeah. Um, Baltimore is still kind of trying to figure it out, I feel like. Um, and this late into the season, um, you kind of want to know what your bread and butter is, particularly if you're – one of those upper echelon teams. I feel like Baltimore is really the only team in that, what you would consider top tier, that's still trying to figure it out. And Mm -hmm. as the schedule gets tougher, you know, you got to be ready to go. And I think, uh, I think the Steelers know who they are. I think the Titans know who they are. I think the Chiefs know who they are. And that's your competition in the AFC. And so still trying to kind of find your footing and figure out how to get the offense going. is really, you know, it's a tough situation. Um, I think I think the Steelers are just in a position now where they really feel that momentum. And um, I think – and I'm not sure if they played them already. I know they played them twice. I'm yeah. not sure if they played them once yet or not. Not, um, not yet. I, I, didn't, I didn't think they did. Um, so the fact that they had to play them twice is one thing. But if this, if this game was later on in the season, because obviously the Steelers had to have an earlier bye week that they wanted to. So – Towards the end of the year, that may start to catch up to them. And so maybe because of that, if it were later on in the season, I may pick Baltimore. Uh, but I think the Steelers are on such a roll, you know, whether it's – Chase Claypool had one catch last week, yeah. you know, but but they have – they're so versatile that it didn't matter because mm-hmm. Juju went off. Yeah. And, you know, they had Deontay Johnson go off. So it's a lot of things that Baltimore's going to have to fix. Um, and I think they defensively they're fine, but their offense needs to be the issue. And yeah. so I'm not sure if their offense can keep up with the way the Steelers' defense is playing. Um, so I think it's still going to be a good game. Don't get me wrong, but I think uh, because of where the Steelers are right now, and because of where Baltimore is right now, I feel like they're right boom, and I think that's enough to to get uh, Pittsburgh over the edge. I don't know if Baltimore is having fans yet. I would assume because our tickets got canceled that they're not, but <laughs> I don't know. Um, so I, I don't know if that's going to be a factor at all, but. It's hard to beg the Steelers right now, man. They're finding yeah. ways to win, even when they may not play their best game, best ball. Uh, so I know that was a long way to answer, but um, I, I'm, I'm going to pick Pittsburgh in this one. But it's a toss-up. It's yeah. a toss-up. Yeah. And I think that's why yeah. it's not a, a Sunday night game. It's because this is the first meeting between the two. The uh, the last meet, the second meeting uh, between them, I would expect to be. It. It's got to be prime time in some capacity, man. Yeah. You know, yeah. Sunday night and Monday night for sure. Yeah. Um. All right. That's a man. I don't. Uh. I don't know if that game is local or not. I hope it is. I would love to watch that game. Uh, yeah. Texans are on a bye, so that may be local. Um, oh, uh, they play Thursday night. Looks like Thanksgiving. Uh, Ooh. It might be their uh, Thursday night game. But yeah, uh, the second time they play will be Thursday night. Uh, that's gonna be fun. Yeah, okay. it's Thanksgiving. <sighs> yeah. 
I just wish they had a full <laughs> week. That's the only yeah. thing. Yeah. But <laughs> but they they're both coming off short weeks, so it won't matter. But it yeah. should be a fun game regardless. Yeah. Um. All right. So, uh, next game is the L.A. Rams visiting the Miami Dolphins with uh, Tua Tagovailoa's first NFL start. Rams, uh, they set him up for failure going against uh, Aaron Donald, but Rams got this one. Yeah, I would pick the Rams as well. Um, I I hope this doesn't end up being a situation where the kid gets ruined, but um, I don't know how good their old line is. It can't be that great um because we haven't we haven't had people talk about them very much yeah. um so yeah i expect donald and those boys have a field day um yeah. i just hope that he's able to stay healthy i think if he can survive this one he'll be all right yeah yeah i think he'll be all right <laughs> um so yeah i'm gonna pick the rams in this one as well uh next game oh it's gonna be a good one right here i don't know if you're ready for this one bro got the oh and seven jets <laughs> visiting the six and one Kansas City Chiefs. The Chiefs, uh, Chiefs awesome. gonna win. I actually think it's gonna be closer than what people expect. Uh, just been they've been fighting. They've been losing, but they've been fighting. And yeah, they mm-hmm. played Buffalo. Uh, they played Buffalo. They played tough. tough last week. Yeah, yeah. I'm not saying Buffalo is the world beater, but they did play them pretty tough. So I, they lead the they lead, they, lead, they lead the division. They're five and two. So yeah, yeah. But yeah, Kansas City got this one. Yeah. Um, depending mm-hmm. on the weather, this might get ugly. I don't know how the weather's going to be in Kansas it's City. A, it's a nineteen point uh, five spread. No way. Jesus. Yeah, I might have to get on that. I'm not gonna lie. I might have to get on that. <laughs> I would totally bet the Jets to keep that. To keep you know, oh, yeah. for, uh, the points. Huge. Yeah. Um, I might have to get on that when we get up here. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna go with the the Chiefs as well. Um. I need Mahomes to have a big day this week. I need him to have a big day playing around. He had a bad week last week. <laughs> um, but, yeah, uh, to your point, um, I think the Jets are playing better than the Cowboys right now. So, they are. there's that. They are. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it'll, it may it definitely – I don't see it being a 19 and a half nah. point difference. Um, maybe, nah. you know, for sure, maybe 14, you know, somewhere in there. But 20 points is kind of crazy. Um, yeah, that, that, that's like Dallas spreads. Um, yeah, exactly. So, yeah, I'm going to go with the Chiefs in that as well. But I would definitely, definitely take the points uh, with the Jets. Yeah. Um, next game on the docket, uh, we have the 1-5 Minnesota Vikings taking on the 5-1 and one Green Bay Packers. Uh, Packers. And I need that defense to shut out Minnesota. So. <laughs> But Packers are gonna. I think they've already played. They played like first game of the year. Yeah, very um, early. Yeah, very early this year. So, mm-hmm. And uh, Green Bay came out like world beaters. So, and the way that uh, they bounced back after that no show against mm-hmm. Tampa, mm-hmm. they uh, Aaron he he had something to prove last week. Uh, yeah, he, I think oof. he threw like four touchdowns, five touchdowns, something like that. Something yeah, crazy. I think it was five. Yeah, uh, so he's going to continue that. He's uh, he's going to try to embarrass him. <laughs> yeah, um, it's kind of hard for me to pick this one just because I feel like it's a divisional game. So yeah. you know, throw the record yeah. out the window. Um, I mean, I'm going to pick Green Bay, but um, it may not be a massacre, I guess. But yeah, there's there's uh. No reason to think the Minnesota can get done. Um, yeah. They say, yeah. uh, then they they traded off uh, uh, one of their talented D linemen, right, to Baltimore, or was it a linebacker? Uh, the Vikings. Yeah, it was I'm like not a, sure. It was uh, last week because uh, yeah, it was last week. Baltimore was doing out uh, doing money moves, like picking up Dez. Uh, for the practice squad to get him ready for the season. And I think they uh, also got a uh, D lineman as well from Minnesota. Mm. So, uh, so. Oh, yeah, uh, Ngakwe, you're right. Yeah, 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 because uh, yeah, they, they, they had just got him from the Jaguars, yeah. and they traded him just like we just traded ever since. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Um, so, ooh, yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, <laughs> it's, yeah, package for that. They're, they're, yeah, they're uh, – they're, they're tanking, I guess. Well, yeah. Well, whatever. Um, they can't dang, they got a better, they got a, they're one in five, so they're ahead of us. Yeah, yeah. Dang, man, why uh, wouldn't 
Oh, because of that melon kick. I was about to say, this is all Atlanta's <laughs> fault. This is all Atlanta's <laughs> fault. You can't do nothing right, bro. Yeah. Yep. Dang. I, mm. yep. I, I ain't picking them again. I, I, they made, I made the mistake <laughs> last week. Um, all right. So, next game is the 4 and 2 Indianapolis Colts visiting the 3 and 3 Detroit Lions. This one is a tough one because Detroit showed us something last week. But I still feel like Matt Patricia is a terrible coach. Um, yeah, and then also who they play last week. I mean, uh, yeah, that is also true. So I'm going Colts. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going Colts as well. This is one of those games where if yeah, the Colts are for real, they got to win this game. Um, yeah. You know, they're kind of floating around, and and they're um, they're in the NFC South, so they're not going to win the division because uh, the Titans will. Yes. Yeah. Um, but they can at least, you know, if they want to hang around the wild card piece of it. And obviously this year you get two wild cards in. So or three wild cards in. Um, so, you know, you, you want to be able to hang around. And yeah. so if this is one of those games, you're four and two right now. You can't let this one slip out of your hands. So I do look at this one as kind of a must win for them. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to go with the, the Colts as well. If they don't get this one done. I'm going to look at them funny. Um, it has some up and downs, you know, um, Philip Rivers hasn't played as well as he as he could and should. Um, I think that's kind of dictated their play. Their defense has been Phenomenal. off the chain. Yeah. Um, thank you, uh, Matt Eberflus, uh, who should still be here, but it's a separate <laughs> discussion. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, so uh, I'm going to go with the Colts in this one. They got to win this one. Yeah. Um, next game, the 3-3 three and three Las Vegas Raiders visiting the 5-2 and two Cleveland Browns. Uh, Raiders because uh, Baker Mayfield had a good game last week. Yeah, so it's yeah, uh, yeah, um, yeah. Then this is kind of <laughs> the same thing with with. I look at this at I look at this uh, for the Raiders. Just thing what I do is I look at the Colts game for the Colts. Is if they want to hang around, they gotta they gotta win this kind of game. Mm-hmm. Um, their record doesn't reflect how good they are, in my opinion, them being a three and three. Um, and then the Browns being a five or two, it's almost like their record should be switched. Yeah. Um, well, the Browns are a good team, they just have a terrible quarterback. If you put, let's say that you put Joe Burrow on Cleveland, oh, yeah, Cleveland would be balling. <laughs> yeah. And I look at, you know, if if they have a good team otherwise and their quarterback is kind of the hindrance, that's like a 500 yeah. team. Yeah. So, like, you know, their defense isn't great, and you know if their defense was more. I mean, obviously, you have um, a great front four. Um, well, I say great front four, but it's really Miles Garrett. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but he, by him, him being him, makes them a great front four because you have to double them, double him, and then it gives the other guys opportunities on you know stealing coverages. Um, so it it takes attention off of those guys, and they can kind of get you know some momentum going as well. So. Um, I, man, the, the Raiders need this one, yeah. um, and I think they have more, more heart. Like when they when they gotta go get one, I feel like they I trust them more than I trust Baker and the Browns. So I'm gonna Absolutely. go with the Raiders in this one as well. Yeah, um, yes. Raiders, they, they gotta get this one, man. They gotta get yeah, this. Absolutely. One. Um, next game, the five and one Tennessee Titans versus the one five and one Cincinnati Bengals. So Tennessee got this one, but Joe gonna be slinging that uh, muffle around. <laughs> I feel so bad for that dude, man. Yeah. I mean, like you that, see the and you see the talent because like the whole question was like, how would he do uh, going from what he had in LSU to uh, going to Cincinnati? Dude's been balling. Yeah, they can't say it's him. Yeah, exactly. Um. Yeah, Tennessee's on the roll, man. It's just it's just unfortunate timing for the Bengals. Yeah. Um, I, I, and yeah, I'm gonna go with the Titans as well. I wonder how long will it take for them to cut uh, Gaskowski? Because they need another kicker uh, when they can. Because he can hit him beyond fifty, but anything under fifty, he can't hit. He's like he's opposite. He's opposite Kyle Forbes. 
Yeah, like exactly. Forbath is like, yo, it's, if it's like 45 and under, I got you. But yeah, if it's exactly. 46, I can't do it. Yeah. So they're like, if then you put them two together, and uh, I know Forbath just signed with the uh, Rams, um, yeah. which is ironic that we switched kickers. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think Kyle would be perfect for them because they're getting this, they're getting a field position and the sign up there having to kick yeah. a whole lot of long field goals. Um, so he was perfect for them, but you know, they got that Belichick connection with uh, with Mike Vrabel and, and Goskowski, and yeah. it hasn't worked out the way they wanted it to. Yeah, they might be they might be undefeated without him, yeah, <laughs> yeah, which, which is crazy. Yeah, um, all right, so next game, the two and four, um, New England Patriots visiting the five and two Buffalo Bills. I got uh, Buffalo on this one. Uh, I picked them to win their division, and this is how you win the division, is burying the Patriots. So. Yeah, there's just too much unknown with what Cam is going to do, how he's going to perform. Um, hate to see what happened to him last week, and the wild part is that San Francisco wasn't really healthy on defense, and – you look at uh, Buffalo, and they are. Um, yeah. So their defense at full strength makes things difficult um, for me to really trust that they're going to be able to put it together. Um, so I'm going to have to go with Buffalo on this one as well. They might be 6-2. That's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Um, next game is the LA Chargers visiting the Denver Broncos. Both both teams 2-4. and four. What's that weather like at that time? That's a great question. <laughs> I, That's a great question. Uh, Justin's going to be slinging it around for sure. Because uh, he, oh, man, he, he's been playing really well of late. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm going to take Chargers in this one. I'm not sure what the weather uh, is slated for or expected to be. Uh, mm-hmm. But I have uh, Chargers in this one. I think they're a better team right now. Yeah. Yeah. Um... Might be the best two and fourteen in the league. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go with them as well. I hate that we're picking the same teams, but um, yeah. <laughs> it, they we just haven't seen enough from Denver. And to your point, you know, the weather may play a role, but if it doesn't, then there's no reason to think the Chargers can't take care of that game. Yeah. Um, so I'm gonna pick the Chargers as well. Uh, next game, this one might be better than people think. Um, 49ers at four and three visiting the five one Seattle Seahawks. Oh no, yeah, this game gonna be fire. Uh, they're gonna uh, Garoppolo gonna hit them with the uh, five yards to throw. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, they can dunk. Yeah, exactly. Man, the way that uh, Russ is, he's an MVP right now. There's sure, no question about it. Mm-hmm. I got, I got Seattle on this one. Yeah, I got Seattle. Um, and and they're coming off a loss, so um, you know those guys can be motivated to play as well and to get a win because that that will be potentially two losses in the division in back to back weeks. And as tight as that division is, they can't really afford that. Um, yeah. I think they're going to be focused for sure. Um, I think it'll be a close game. It may come down to the last possession, but if it come down to the last possession, Russ is going to kill it. I mean, yeah. that's kind of that's kind of what he does. Um, it's a toss up, man. Yeah, probably wants to pick the the Niners just to be different, kind of all the games games on ground. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but I don't know if I've seen them string two weeks back to back yet. And yeah. what they did to the Patriots was insane. Yeah. Um, dang, man, I gotta go with Seattle. <laughs> I go with Seattle. All right. Um, next game is the four and two New Orleans Saints visiting the five and two Chicago Bears. All right, Chicago Bears got embarrassed last week, so I'm going with the Saints. <laughs> yeah, I'm shutting <laughs> down. Okay. So you going with the Saints or you going with the Bears? I'm going with the Saints. <laughs> okay. Okay. I thought you were about to hit him with the you know, Chicago had a bear last week, so they come back and win this week. But no, they go nah. this week too, huh? Nah, uh, Nick Foles only ball out when uh, Tom Brady is across from him. That's fair. Um, 
What's going on with Thomas? Is he playing? Or what? What's what's he, the issue? He, he's playing. Okay, uh, I think he played last week. Yeah, he played uh, last week. I thought, just... I thought he missed it. Did he play? Did he? I thought he did. I don't know why I thought I saw he didn't play last week. Um, because I'm just like, what the hell is going on with them? I thought they had said that. Uh. He was either like a late scratch or something. Or... Oh, he didn't play. I thought he did. Wow. Uh, yeah, yeah, so I didn't think he played. So yeah, I, th- I still think he hasn't played yet. Yeah, I'm not sure then. So I don't know. And, you know, that defense, Chicago's defense, man, like, yeah. I'm going to go with Chicago. I'm going to go with Chicago. <laughs> they, they seem like in prime time they play better. Um, and I don't trust New Orleans, um, offensively against that defense, especially if you don't have Michael Thomas. And I know Emmanuel Sanders had COVID. I'm not sure if he's been cleared. I don't think he has been. So you're down your top two wide receivers. I guess a really good defense. Um, I'm going to go with Chicago in this one. I just think that's supposed to screw this up. That's that's my thing. I think the uh, Chicago's offense is so bad. It's why New Orleans is going to pull out the win. No, that's a reasonable. It's a reasonable <laughs> thought for sure. Um, so we'll see how it goes. Um, Sunday night game: <laughs> two and five Dallas Cowboys versus the two four and one Philadelphia Eagles. Can uh, can we repick uh, our uh, division our divisional picks? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> oh my God! Are you kidding me? Those those been in the trash. Those been in the trash. Uh, Philly's gonna win this one, and they're gonna embarrass Dallas. Yeah, we don't even have to talk about it. Um, it's not gonna be a pretty sight. I just hope that Ben DiNucci has a decent outing. Like, I don't want I don't want him to get killed. He yeah. might get killed, but I don't want him to get killed. <laughs> uh, well, Zach is, Zach should be back. Well, that's true. So he might have he may have a, another second because yeah. um, he was practicing today. So that's that's obviously good. Um, yeah. yeah. So that yeah, God, just give let him get, get if he can get two seconds in the pocket, screen plays, slants. Let's get yeah. see these on some slant routes. Let's get him yeah. some slants. You know, some quick tosses out to you know to not to Zeke because he can't catch anymore. Yeah. But Tony Pollard on the screen play. You know, get some quick movement stuff going for him. You know, who knows? Um, it's, Philadelphia's it's, defense is okay, but their first seven is a beast, so that's where I'm a little nervous. Well, the, uh, well, the front four. The, front four, you're right. Yeah, the linebackers aren't that good. You're right, uh, yeah, this might be the game for CD to eat uh, big time. Uh, from yeah. what I understand, their uh, slot uh, cornerback isn't that good. So he should be able to eat if uh, Danucci is able to get some protection. That's the thing, man. If you can get time, you saw yeah. I dive through there, Mario, on that on, the, on that post. I mean, on that uh, yeah. on that go, it was a very yeah. beautiful pass. So he he can get yeah. if you give him two seconds, he can get the ball in there. You just gotta get yeah. that, get that exactly. Um, so exactly. yeah, we'll, we'll we'll see. But there's no chance the Cowboys win this game. So yeah, it's yeah. gonna be the the Eagles, unfortunately. God, yeah, I hate this division so much. Uh, and the wild <laughs> part about this is that. <laughs> this division is so bad, and Philly is so bad. They may lose this game. They won't, but if they did, who would be surprised? They could exactly. It'd be exactly. like a twelve and nine game. Like <laughs> I hate this division so much. It's like, bro, we're we're giving it away. I'm like, oh, do I want this division? I don't want it. I don't want it. Um, no, I'm not twenty twenty. I don't want it this year. I was like, y'all are so pathetic. So um, trash. Yeah, we should just be at the bottom. Like, okay, it's like 2015. Like, we're just enjoying the process of yeah. not having to stress about these games and just going to understand. Like, we don't gonna win, so let's just see exactly. what we can do. Um, but we can't even trust the damn division to win. But the way we lose in these games, especially last week, the way we lose these games, it looks a lot better. Like, yeah. y'all should. I mean, come on now. Exactly. Come on, exactly. we keep trying. Get that. Get that first. Uh, the number one pick. We need the uh, the Jets to do better. Let's let's get some wins, boys. Yeah. Um, and the um, the um, the Falcons and the yeah. Texans and the and Vikings. The let's, let's and the Giants. <laughs> let's go, guys. Let's go. Yeah. Um, all right. And then Monday night game. Oh my God. Uh, <laughs> well, this it won't be it won't be the win this week. Um, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers at five and two visiting the one and six New York Giants. Uh. 
I got that Tampa. Yeah, it's uh, almost an eleven point spread. Too. I can't. I mean, that that sounds about right. Sounds like it should be more than that. To be honest. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, it's Tampa. It's yeah. Tampa. That that one. That defense. Oof. Those ratings are not going to be good for that game because <laughs> yeah. everybody know like who watching that. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Uh, they they usually don't flex this early, so I get it. But boy, I bet they yeah. wish they could. <laughs> yeah. All right. So those are our week eight picks. Um, I, like I said, you know, we we uh, we can't get away from each other. Yeah. You know? It's craziness. So it'd be interesting to see how it goes. Um, we we do have a little bit of time. Uh, well, I don't know if you have anything specific you wanted to get into um no nah, not, not this week i'm just okay. uh team tank get that first overall so <laughs> yeah um we're, we're working towards that i think we started a little too a little too late yeah. um thank you atlanta for that golly bro Crazy if we were one if we were one and six right now i don't feel a lot better about our chances to get it yeah i will ask you this real quick um if we do, if it if things fall in a way where we get a top two pick, what do you what do you, what would you want to do with that pick? Would you want to trade out of it? Would you want to draft the quarterback? What would what would you want to do with that pick? I trade back uh, to just try to stay in the top ten if it's uh, possible. But I would trade back and uh, try to get the uh, lineman. So. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I don't. I mean, there. You know, there's been talk about oh, if if they get to two, you know, should they pick Justin Fields and and just you know let Dak walk? I'm like, I mean, yeah. you already have a great quarterback. You want to risk it by getting the guy you don't know is going to pan out. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, I know it saves a lot of money and they let you kind of reset the clock as far as you know having a quarterback on the rookie deal, but I mean, you don't know how it's going to go. So especially when you have to rebuild the offensive line. If we didn't have to rebuild the offensive line, I would think about it a little bit more, but they have to build their uh, offensive line. So it's like nah. <laughs> they gotta rebuild the offensive line, the defensive line, the defensive uh the the, 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 the defense everything, defense. the whole defense. Start from scratch. We're from scratch over there. Yeah. They need they <laughs> just all the way over. All all of it. Um oh, I will ask you this real quick. Um <laughs> Speaking of the defense, um, Xavier Woods in a contract year, Cheeto's in a contract year, uh, Jay Lou is in a contract year. Um, do you would you keep any of those three guys, knowing that you have to re-sign them after this year, and knowing how the cap is going to be potentially shrinking because of you no know, attendance, you know, from the fans and stuff like that. Um, is, is there any one of those three guys that you would keep or, or Cheeto. resign? Cheeto? Yeah, and try, uh, try my hardest to trade the other two. Okay. Even if it's uh, for a fifth or a fourth or something, I'll trade them. Uh, I'll, yeah, I'll trade them immediately, try to build up uh, these darts to uh, for the future. Yeah, I hate – I mean, I, I, I like Xavier Woods. Um but yeah, it's been a struggle. It's been a struggle. Um, but I'm with you. I think Cheeto would be if, the, if there's a guy you keep. I think it is Cheeto. Yeah. Um, I, I I'm glad he's coming. He should be back this week. So that's that's good to at least see what we have in him. Um, unfortunately, he's coming back too late. So I don't know if there's a room to trade him if you, even if you wanted to. Um, but at least you kind of get the rest of the year to see if it's worth the continued investment. Um, I, I don't know what kind of market there is for, for Jordan Lewis. Uh, I think maybe this time last year you would have got more value for him. Yeah. But, you know, seeing him, um, seeing the name of his jersey, the name on the back of his jersey a lot mm-hmm. because he's getting burnt is not a good thing <laughs> for value. Uh, that's why I knew Worley wasn't going to have no – ain't nobody going to trade with Worley. Like, yeah. look what he put on tape. But you think somebody will give you a seventh pick for that? Like, no way. Nah. Um Poe, I thought maybe a seventh, maybe, but yeah. not worldly. Not what he put on tape this year. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I, I'm right with you there. I think um, 
you might get like a fifth for Xavier Woods. I don't know about what you can get for J. Lou. Um, but yeah, I think Cheeto would be probably the best person to keep because at least you have him, Anthony Brown, and then Diggs next year. Yeah. Um, you know, that you can reset the deck. Uh, I'm sure they'll keep Reggie Robinson as well, but I don't know if they've been talking about him playing safety and well, they already know what they do with him. Yeah. Um, so, that's what I was thinking to uh, trade off Xavier, is that would let Robinson to get some, get some time. time. Yeah. And you'll know what you have uh, moving forward as well. I agree. Um, I, I wasn't the biggest fan of him moving to safety, honestly. I'd rather him be a corner. But, I mean, who else going to play safety? We don't have yeah. nobody else. Um, <laughs> let's, say, let's say they may call you. Because, yeah. um, Lord have mercy. That, that's so great. First two minutes showers. <sighs> oh my god that boy thought he was gonna make it too. <laughs> i ain't seen him in a couple years now he was, that boy stay on the roster boy he stay on the roster it yeah, was one thing i'm gonna do i'm gonna make the 53 man roster for sure that's i ain't gonna play but i'm gonna be on the roster i'm gonna be out there i'm gonna be out there special teams baby um yeah i guess that's it for us um as always uh like and subscribe uh, I will say since this is the hit last, that bell. and the thank yeah, you, get that hit, notification. The, hit, hit the notification bell. Shout yeah. out to Will. That's what I'm talking yeah. about. <laughs> um, I will say you know this is our last, um, our last pod, our last video uh, before election day. Yeah. So uh, I do want to you know not turn this into a political podcast, but at least make sure that we encourage everybody to go out there and vote. Oh, oh, um, oh. You know, we don't have to talk about details or specifics. If you're alive and have common sense, then you know where we're at. Um, so we feel right without at least mentioning it. Um, yeah. Wherever you are, if you have the opportunity to early vote, I recommend you do that. But if not, certainly on Tuesday, make sure to exercise your right to vote. And get there um, early. Yeah, get there early. Um we probably won't even have the results by the time we do this pod next week. Um, but certainly would uh, like to encourage everybody to go out there and exercise the right to vote. Yep, so be a good citizen. Uh, be a good citizen. That's right. So thank you guys for listening. And um, see you guys next week. Later.